LAD was founded in 1975 by parents of children with developmental disabilities who sought an alternative to institutionalization for their child. Since then, LAD has grown to become one of the largest service providers of its kind in the region. But there is still more to be done. LAD has a waiting list that is years long for its housing and services. And with 1 in 41 boys born on the autism spectrum, people with disabilities living longer, and the opioid crisis resulting in more disabilities among our babies, the waiting list continues to grow. At an annual cost per person of nearly $50,000 a year, Ohio taxpayers already invest heavily in a system that even with its current $4 billion annual investment can only serve half of the people that need such services. Finally, to add to the crisis, there is a massive shortage of people able to deliver supportive services. With growing demand, the high cost of services, and staffing shortages, a new service model is needed. What if we could further independence while ensuring health and safety at a fraction of the current cost? LAD's proposed solution is a smart living service model. This initiative includes a state-of-the-art smart home in a safe, walkable community utilizing best-in-class monitoring and safety technology integrated both into the home and with wearables. LAD is launching a three-year pilot with Xavier University's Occupational Therapy Program to measure the impact of this technology on independence for people with developmental disabilities. Let's take a look at just a sampling of the technology inside the home. We will start with the bedroom. Most falls occur between the bedroom and bathroom at night. The walkway to the bathroom will have ring fall prevention lighting that illuminates at night when someone's feet hit the floor. Smart beds that monitor body temperature and sleep patterns to ensure LAD can intervene if someone is sick, has a seizure, or has wandering tendencies. And an integrated video screen that can customize visuals that are reminders for daily tasks like time to shower. Let's move over to the bathroom where safety and hygiene are at the forefront. Smart faucets that include automatic shutoff and temperature control to prevent scalding. An integrated custom verbal assistant that can communicate help with tasks or get help or request assistance. As for accessories within the bathroom, daily hygiene will be a critical component including smart toothbrushes with sensors that help you clean your teeth, electric razors that prevent cuts to the skin, and assistive toilets. Now for the kitchen, where there will be technology installed to ensure safe cooking, cleaning, food ordering, and med administration. There will be a smart pill dispenser that can regulate and monitor medications taken, a smart oven for safety, a smart refrigerator that can order groceries and allow support staff to see inside the fridge from a remote location, and an integrated screen with customized videos for assistance as well as remote support. An additional feature of this smart home is a sensory room. A sensory room utilizes four of the five senses, hearing, touch, visual, and smell, and a space designed to help a person calm down if they are overstimulated. Wearables are also a critical component to the smart living pilot. When a resident leaves the house, remote support staffing will effectively intervene through smart watches and other devices for things like seizures, getting scared or nervous based on heart rate monitoring, getting lost, or something as simple as assistance in making change. LAD's plan is to have these homes in clusters with a central monitoring location that can oversee a multitude of homes and quickly be on site if a person is needed. Currently, LAD has purchased three homes in Blue Ash and is looking to purchase additional homes in Anderson Township as part of the Forever Home campaign. The cost savings to Ohio would be astronomical if through technology we can decrease staff intervention in people's lives and increase the staff to person being supported ratio. A parent's ever present thought when they have a child with a developmental disability is, what will happen when I'm gone? This thought lives with them in every quiet moment. LAD wants to bring a solution to these parents and their children. One grounded in the belief that people with developmental disabilities can not only live, but thrive as our neighbors, fellow employees, and citizens. Together, we are building communities where all are welcome and where the power of technology is harnessed to elevate our humanity and change what is possible for thousands of people across Ohio 
who experience disability.